to another vlog. It actually looks really nice out. Today's supposed to be one of the nicer days. Our house is completely empty for the most part. We just have like a few things that we have to move, get rid of, whatever. Just thought I'd pick up the camera today and kind of do a day in the life of us moving the process of moving and that fun stuff. We have already moved fully into the RV. We've been living there full time for the past three weeks or so. So quite a bit of time. We've just literally been living there. The house we just use for bathrooms, showers, but otherwise we don't really use the house and we just kind of have been waiting around for closing. Our closing date was supposed to be August 22nd, but that came and went. So it's been a fun process just waiting and then we finally got a call yesterday that closing is gonna be this Friday. So finally we can like get things started. But we're really excited that we finally have a date so we can kind of get the ball rolling. Today's Wednesday, our closing is supposed to be on Friday. They're gonna do a final walkthrough tomorrow. So we wanna clean everything, like wash the showers, wash the floors, make sure it is spick and span. Just prep the house for the final walkthrough. So that's the plan. And then my husband has a list of like last minute things he wants to get done, like change the oil and just a list of things that he wants to do. So that's kind of what's been going go what's been going on lately. That's we've just been living in the RV chilling waiting around for closing day, but now that we finally have a closing day, I feel like we can finally, you know, get the ball rolling and start booking spots and making our way out of here. All right, so kids are already having breakfast. I'm probably gonna go inside and make myself a cup of coffee and we're gonna, I let them play a little bit. Usually we have breakfast and then we start homeschool. That's kind of how the past couple of weeks have been ever since we started homeschool, kind of have like a little rhythm going. Our little home sweet home right here, just parked outside. Made some more coffee beans. So good. I'm gonna show you guys a little mini sneak peek tour. So we have been living here for the past month. It's been pretty good adjusting, you know, it just feels like regular life. We've just been chilling, started homeschool, focusing on that, basically waiting around for closing. That's what we've been doing, but it's been pretty good adjustment. You know, everything has a place. We got like a whole system going of how we spend our days. It's definitely gonna change once we hit the road because when you're traveling, it's different. You're constantly moving ever so often versus we've just been parked for like a whole month. So that's going to be different, but otherwise, you know, it's been good. But anyway, we have a toy hauler fifth wheel. This is a Keystone Raptor. It's about almost 44 foot toy hauler. And we like the layout. It works perfectly for our family. So that is the main door right there. You can see my cute little wreath. And this is the dining section right here. This is where Aviana does homeschool. We have a map there, which I'm really excited to utilize finally. I got this sent to me probably... 2020 from trip map world i believe they're based out in lithuania if i'm not mistaken and you can customize you know kind of any map you can do a world map europe whatever it is you want i chose us because this is what we're gonna be traveling and it comes with little pins you can choose the different they have like vintage ones i got the grayscale one because i felt like it matched perfectly and it comes with little gold pins and last month like the beginning of the month we went to old forge with friends and then the year before that same time we went to um what was it called lake george state park so those are the two places other two trips that we've done so far i'm excited to utilize that map a lot more and pin our travels this is the dining section of yanda's homeschool there this is the living section of this little ottoman situation we store all of their toys in which i love because they literally all fit in there other than their legos i accidentally deleted the clips showing the kitchen the kids room and then the bathroom before i moved on to the bedroom i'm gonna film that right now and just insert this clip in between but here's the tv console situation here we plan to put a christmas tree Christmas tree here during Christmas. Really excited for that for Christmas in the RV. Here's the kitchen. Kind of like a nice open layout. And then back there, the kids have their own door. And that's the garage portion where most people will usually put um, like toys in here, like four wheels, whatever. You can see that black thing right there. That's actually a ramp. And it could go all the way down to help um, either a four wheeler or something come in. Or it can become a patio straight and then has like a little fence around it so you have all this extra space these glass doors but the kids have their own room so this is why we love this uh rv model in particular because it has the queen bunks up top and they go all the way down when it's time to sleep and then they go all the way up out of the way during the daytime and they have all this place to stay 
place to stay. What? They have all this space to play. So that's really nice. And they also have their own door so they can go outside without having to use the main entrance. And then this little chiffre robe for their clothes and everything that found on Facebook Marketplace. But that's kind of the gist of it. Nice open layout here. And then back there, a few steps up, we have the bathroom right here. That's the bathroom door and that's our bedroom. And right here in the hall hallway we have the control panels. The bathroom's nothing special. Kind of like a typical bathroom. I closed the door but this door, it's a pocket door, it does open into our bedroom. So it kind of has like a two door entrance but again the bathroom's nothing, nothing too crazy. Just like a typical bathroom. And then this is where the clip ends and I accidentally deleted the part. Moving on to the bedroom. And then this is our bedroom. So we have a closet there, another closet, the bed, and that's it. That's a little mini tour. We've just been living in here, chilling in here, enjoying our time in here. So far, so good. Our main thing was just waiting around for a closing date. We were just like waiting and waiting and waiting, like, what is going on? We can't, we didn't want to abandon the house and leave the house without having a closing date because you know you're still responsible for it. And then finally we got a phone call yesterday that closing date is going to be Friday, yay! I'm not really sure where we would go first. We wanted to maybe go to Maine since we live in New York, central New York. Like what are the chances that we're going to come back up here with an RV and visit places like Vane, Vane, Vermont, Maine. We have been to Vermont last year, absolutely gorgeous. We went with my brother-in-law, he invited us beautiful fall time. Fall is beautiful in New York as well. So we figured while we're here, why not? But we'll see because it is getting colder. Like the, by the time we got the closing date, it's already going to be September. It's September 21st. It's going to be September 23rd when we close. So definitely later than we expected. We thought we'd be out of here by August and make our way northwest. But since it's going to be really cold by the time we like make our way there and visit all the national parks and stuff, you know, you don't want to be someplace in the dead of winter you more it's more enjoyable i feel like in the springtime or like the early fall the summer so we're trying to like figure that all out we haven't figured that out yet we'll see since plans kind of got shifted quite a bit but otherwise you know so far so good just literally been living i'm gonna sit here sip my coffee i'm gonna call the kids in get them started with their homeschool like i said aviana does her homeschool here josiah we put him over there and then we give aviana some headphones so that they're not interfering with one another. By the way, I got this robe on Amazon. I have been living in it for the past couple of days. It's I've never tried Barefoot Dreams just because I can't. I wanted one, but it's so expensive for a robe. I'm like, I don't know. I can't I can't justify the price. So I went on Amazon and I randomly came across this. This looks a little dark right now, but it's just this super fuzzy, soft material. And I've just been really liking it and living in it for the past couple of days, pretty much. It has a hood. It has pockets, the waist situation going on. So let me set up all their homeschool stuff so that they're like ready to go. Sorry, I had to deal with something with the kids. They're like, I feel like we've been cooped up in here for three weeks. We haven't really been doing much. Like you don't want to leave anywhere, go on a trip just in case you close. And then also we just started homeschool. So we haven't really, really, really doing much. So for the past three weeks, we've just been literally kind of chilling in here. And I feel like it's time to change the scenery. Kind of getting cabin fever a little bit. Keep all of their homeschool stuff in there. I have their weekly binders that I set up for the week every Sunday or Monday. I'll go through and change out the papers for the week. All their handouts and work that they have to do so that they don't have to fumble through any um, books or anything like that. And they just follow along with DVDs. So it's been pretty good adjusting to school. You know, we have a really first day was super long because we were doing two days at once. But otherwise, it was, you know, it's going well. Like, it seems to be doing, I'm really liking this curriculum. I mean, it's only been about a month, so we'll see going forward, but so far it's been pretty good. Welcome back! I was hoping you'd come today. Oh, 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 Kids are finishing up their lessons, but I was on Instagram and saw a really good recipe for a hamburger bowls. So I thought I'd do my own take on it. It doesn't look like much right now because the beef is literally covering everything. But there's like red onion, pickles, tomato. We didn't have lettuce, so I just used regular salad. And I want to make hamburgers. I did this yesterday. I the hamburger meat for today for the kids. But for myself, I thought I'd try that hamburger bowl because it looked delicious. I'm definitely more of a person that's like, eat your hamburger kind of person. But this is actually really good. I love bowls, like sushi bowls, taco bowls.
such a good workout, but I think I'm going to finish the video here. My husband just came back. He went to my parents' house with the kids to drop off some stuff. I'm doing some laundry. This is going to be the last time doing laundry. Mow the grass for the last time in this house. Tomorrow is the final walkthrough. So just going through and kind of cleaning it up, cleaning the toilets, washing the shower stalls, washing the floors. I'm like a sweaty hot mess, but just kind of like clean up the house so you know it looks presentable, nice, things like that. So the kids are popping in. I'm going to finish the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.